As you probably have heard, Windows 11 is coming out and it has some minimum system requirements for you to be able to upgrade to it. Go to your Windows search bar and search about your PC or navigate to about in settings. Inside here we can see the processor. The first thing we want to check is the processor speed because in order to run Windows 11, you'll need one gigahertz or faster with two or more cores. And inside here, you can see my processor. This is an Intel core processor, an i5-7200U. Here we can see the speed of the processor. It's 2.5 gigahertz and a little bit faster with boost. So the speed of this processor is absolutely fine. The uh, second little limitation we should look at here is actually the processor's generation. You can see here is my name of the processor, or rather this one. It's an Intel processor and it's an i5. The generation indicator is this seven here in the thousands. So if your processor also is in the seventh generation, it will be 7000 something. If it's in the sixth generation, it will be 6000 something. And if it's 10,000 something, it's in the 10th generation and not first generation. It works in a similar way for AMD processors, which usually also indicates the generation by the thousands after the name like Ryzen 5. And then we have 5000 something or something like that. Before, Microsoft talked about the limitation that would only roll out the Windows 11 to 8th gen processors or higher tier value, which means that my computer would not be eligible. However, they have now drawn back this statement and it looks like the 7th generation at least will be able to get Windows 11 if it reaches the other requirements. However, this will most likely be a soft cap, which means that it's not recommended to install Windows 11 on an older system. But if you meet the requirements, you should be able to run it. Write into search MS Info and run the system information app. Now in here, you can also confirm that you actually have two or more cores. Most uh, modern processors do have two or more cores, but under the processor here, it actually lists how many cores you have which is two cores with four threads. So if you got Windows 10 and meet all the listed requirements, well, then you should be able to get Windows 11 for free. And I'll probably make some good tutorials on how to make the setup process when everything is ready. So keep subscribed for that and check my other tutorials if you were missing some of the requirements. I hope this video helped you and if it did, please leave a like. This is your host, Jim Dissim, signing out.